In this video, we are going to find the remainder when 6 to the power 2021 plus 8 to the power 2021 is divided by 49. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I'm going to show you two ways to find the remainder when this number is divided by 49. The first way is to make use of the binomial theorem. So we can write 6 to the power 2021 into 7 minus 1 and all to the power 2021. Using the binomial theorem, we can rewrite that as 7 to the power 2021 plus 2021c1 7 to the power 2020 times minus 1 to the power 1 and then we're going to keep going through the pattern until you reach 2021c 2020 7 to the power 1 times minus 1 to the power 2020 finally added by minus 1 all to the power 2021 now by rewriting into this form, because we are dividing this number by 49, which is 7 squared, so that means all the powers of 7 with index that are 2 or above will be cancelled out. And what's left are just the final two terms, which is 2021 times 7 times 1 minus 1. So 6 to the power 2021 has the same remainder this when it's divided by 49 and similarly we can rewrite 8 to the power 2021 into 7 plus 1 all to the power 2021 and now we can say that it is congruent to 2021 times 7 times 1 plus 1 which means they have the same remainder when they are divided by 49. So therefore, the sum of the two powers is congruent to 4042 times 7. And so that means I can rewrite 4042 by 7 times 577 plus 3 or multiplied by 7 and we know that when these two numbers are multiplied together it's a multiple of 49 so what remains is just the remainder which is 21 so the answer is 21 and Next, I'm going to show you the second method. The second method is to look for patterns of powers of 6 when they're divided by 49. So the powers of 6 are 6, and the next one is 36. So whenever I multiply each power by 6, then I try to divide it by 49 so to reduce the number back to into, into its remainder. The next one is 216. We know it's obviously larger so we divide it by 49 the remainder is 20 and now I'm going to multiply this remainder by 6 again 120 and you will get 22 132 and you will get 34 multiply by 6 again you get 204 and you get 8 and then when you multiply by uh, 6 again you get 48 and the remainder is actually uh, 48, but I'm going to rewrite that as minus 1. So the pattern is that 6 to the power 7 is congruent to minus 1 mod 49. And so that means 6 to the power 14 must have remainder 1 when it's divided by 49. And this is the smallest number, smallest index, that 6 to the power of it has remainder 1 when it's divided by 49. And that means I can write 6 to the power 2021 into 6 to the power 14 times 144 added by 5. 
Now, the first term, or I should say, um, the fir uh, this bit, could be rewritten as 6 to the power 14 and the whole thing to the power 144, multiplied by 6 to the 5, 6 to the 5. And then it's congruent to 1 times 6 to the 5 mod 49. Now you can compute or simply look back into the pattern that 6 to the power 5 is actually um, this number. So the remainder is should be 40, should be 34. So the remainder for this part is 34. Now for powers of 8, we can do the same. 8, 64, and that becomes 15, 120, and it becomes 22, 176, it becomes 29. Then we have 232, and that's 36, 288, and we'll have minus 6, or I should say 43, is multiplied by 8, then we'll have um, 344, and that's 1, because 49 times 7 is 343, just 1 less than that number. So we know that 8 to the power 7 is congruent to 1 watt 49. Similarly, we can write A to the power 2021 to be congruent to A to the power 5 mod 49. And we know that it's actually congruent to 36 mod 49. And so for this part, remainder is 36. And so our final remainder is equivalent to 34 plus 36 divided by 49, so it should be 21. This is our final answer.